All right, so basically, um, here's the bottom of the CR48. Um, I took the battery out, which is right here. And if you can see right here, <coughs> to the right of the uh, connector there, there is a little switch. And it's going to the left right now, which is turns developer mode on. Um, so basically, you turn that on, and now I'll show you what happens after you. All right, now that we got that switch pressed, all we have to do here is turn it on, and um, <coughs> we're going to get a screen right here. Um, and basically, to get rid of this, this will pop up every time that you boot up when you have it switched. Um, you press Control D to dismiss that. Um, and you'll get the normal boot up, but if it's your first time pressing it, what will happen is you'll get a little prompt that says, Warning, the developer switch is pressed. Um, please turn off the um, notebook and turn it off if you didn't mean to press it. If not, your data will be erased and basically gives you 25 seconds and then it erases all the data which takes about uh, 5 minutes or so. Um, and then after that it just goes to the normal screen when you first boot it up and you set up your account again unless you take another picture which I did not do. Um, and I'll show you what you can do now. I'll try to do this in a little bit. Alright. Now that we are developer mode, we can do control alt forward and this gets us into the developer console. Um, this is just like a normal console application. The uh, login for this is Kronos, C-H-R-O-N-O-S. And that gets us basically right in here. Um, we've got access. I do not believe it's root access though, but I haven't found out how to get there yet. I'm not too concerned. I still have to do a little bit of research to figure out what's going on here and how I can develop my own stuff, even though I haven't really had any experience, but it's worth a try. Um, let me do a little ls to show you the directory there. Actually, I'll just get this off the tripod. Um, everything's color coordinated. Um, all the dark blue stuff is our folders, and everything else are just files. I'm not sure what the other colors are, but like I said, I just found this out. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, just give me a comment, and I'll let you know what's going on, or I'll make another video for you.